Hey, hello, and welcome to the show. It is me, JP, and it's time for JP's product pick of the week. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, thank you for people who jump on in the YouTube chat. Hello to Robert Cochran over there and Dave Odessa, Johnny Bergdahl, Biograph Abdel Hagen. Hello and uh, welcome. If you are somewhere else and you're wondering where are the chats, well, then you should check out our Discord. And that's, no, that's not it. Where'd it go? That's, whoa, where? I'm just clicking things. Hey, click, click, click. There it is. Uh, my thumbnails went awry. The Discord chat is over at adafru.it slash Discord, and you can look for the live broadcast chat channel right there. We have a bunch of different channels on our server. And uh, hello to Blitz City DIY and John Nodge and Thin Man, Jim Hendrickson. Johnny Bergdahl's there as well. Uh, thank you for popping in. I see Sam J. Ohio is typing dot, dot, dot. Uh, hey, hello, hello, hello. So let's, uh, let's do this. I've got a snazzy new, brand new uh, product pick for this week. It is low cost, simple, interesting, very neat for education stuff and other uses. But before I tell you about it, we're going to have Lady Ada. I've got a little edit from her uh, desk of Lady Ada, as well as Ask an Engineer New 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 segment, talking about this week's product pick. So take it away, Lady Ada. Another thing I'd love to show this really, really fast. I did um, for a little, uh, for a kid's project um, that we're, we're going to, um, have in the store next week. I did a little simple soil sensor. So this is a resistive type soil sensor and it's going to be with gold, not silver or hassle. This is just hassle finish. Um, this is a simple transistor version. And the interesting thing is I've always kind of not carried or designed anything with these. It just uses the, um, the resistance across these as the base resistor to, you know, and then the beta of the transistor is what defines the, the voltage across, you know, the emitter resistor. And um, these aren't great. They, they do oxidize um, because you're pull, you have a differential voltage, you know, across the two. Um, gold, of course, will help, but you're still going to eventually get some, some gunk on there. But, you know, when we were talking to um, the educational group, they're like, well, price is really, really, really important. And I was like, well, you know, it will be a couple dollars cheaper than if I had a microcontroller on there that did like full capacitive sensing. So, um, and this is, you know, it has a, like a, just a true analog output. It's quite simple. So despite this being um, not how I normally would design, sometimes cost dictates the design. Sometimes you just have to uh, go with something that's going to be like a one cent transistor. Because we do stuff with tariffs now. Like when your bill of materials has a little spot where it's like, well, this costs 10 times as much by the time it gets here. Yeah, you do have, you do have to think about it's very it. very different. A simple moisture sensor, simple soil sensor as shown here. Um, so we uh, put design this, put this in the shop. It's a simple resistive sensor with gold pads. Um, it's meant for students. I want to make something very, very low cost, but still pretty durable that can be easily used by folks with an Arduino or a micro bit. And now it's in the shop. Um, we also have capacitive um, soil moisture sensors, but they're going to be a little bit more expensive. This is when like budget is really important and you don't mind that it's a resistive style sensor. Okay. That's right. Hey, look, this is it right here. It is the product pick of the week, the moisture bit. This is a simple soil moisture sensor from Microbit and more. Uh, and it's got two neat, interesting, simple ways to connect to it. We have a little tiny JST connector there that some of our cables will work with. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, or we just have alligator clips here, which makes this terrific for uh, classroom types of projects, learning projects. You could use it with a micro bit, which has the connectors. I'll show you in a second at the bottom for using with an alligator clip. Uh, and there's also, uh, you could use this with a Circuit Playground Express using alligator clips as well. And then you can plug in with, uh, with little cables and adapters and all those sorts of things. Uh, so what this does, this tells you whether your soil is moist or not. I suppose you could use it for other things, other types of uh, liquid sensing, but really what it's ideal for is for plants. So uh, I'll show you a demo in a moment, but before I do that, uh, here is a, a nice look at them. You can see we've got the little instructions there at the top on the silk screen. It says insert to line, little dotted line. Uh, and then your two gold plated contacts sit in the soil and we measure the resistance across those two, uh, two prongs there. Uh, 
there is a, uh, let's see, let me, let me go to the product page here, uh, and you can see we've got these on sale uh, for $1.75, so nice and cheap, and uh, you can get those without a coupon code or anything like that, so you just throw them, throw them in the cart and you'll get them. And you can see here, like we often do on the product page, there's a link to say, I'll get some small alligator clips uh, or alligator clip to test lead. Uh, there's also this JST uh, cable, so if I click on that and go to open that up in a new tab, you can see uh, this is the sort of thing you can plug into this little, little side connector on here. Uh, and then if you scroll down, we have the uh, learn guide link right here. So if you click on that, you'll get to the Simple Soil Moisture Sensor Learn Guide. Here is the overview page. You can see that in action with a little, uh, little watering bottle there, lab watering bottle. And then there's a pinout list here, show you what, uh, what we have. So there's three volt, you'll run that to your power. You can also use five volt uh, on something like an Arduino if it's got five volts out. The uh, common pin, ground, and then your, uh, your output there is an analog output. So you'll get an analog output that'll vary depending on the microcontroller you're using. Uh, I think on the micro bit, we calibrated this or tested this and something around less than 200 is dry, dry soil. Uh, up to about uh, 1,000 is where you've got the moist soil. Uh, that's going to be the range. And then I think we have a different range on uh, the, yeah, about 100 to 1,000 on, on micro bit. Uh, and then I, th I think a slightly different range that you can experiment with on Arduino. Uh, if you continue to scroll down, you'll see we have uh, set up for CircuitPython, Arduino, using it with Microbit and MicroPython, using it with Microbit and Arduino, and using it with Microbit and MakeCode. Uh, and that's actually how I have this one set up. Let me actually, I'll go to a different setup here. Uh, so you can see I'm running a uh, instance of MakeCode for Microbit here which, by the way, now has themes. I didn't know that. It has a nice dark theme here, which I like. Uh, and this shows me the micro bit on the left. You can see I've got my micro bit here and a very, very dry little, very leggy um, succulent that needs a lot of help. <laughs> so I'm not sure. This is probably a good starting point to spur me into action on this poor thing before it really dies. Maybe it's dead already, I don't know. Looks, looks like it has some life left. Uh, but right now you can see we've got frowny face on the micro bit because this is uh, dry. So the value of that moisture sensor is reading uh, less than 200 right now. Uh, and so what I'll do is I've got a little uh, watering can here. It's actually for pour over coffee, but shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add water to the soil there and you can see that's enough right there to to make it a lot happier so uh, the analog value the resistance has been reduced the analog value goes up over 200 now uh, i'm actually not measuring it in a uh, a serial output here but as long as we have the smiley face means that this has moisture so that's a simple uh, simple example of how to use it but i think it also makes for a really nice demonstration uh, of reading a sensor on a microcontroller in something like a classroom or learning environment because it's uh, very simple, difficult to, to plug anything wrong. Everything's got nice big labels on it, clip on your alligator clips, and off you go. So you can see here across the top, I've got a white lead running to out, and that goes to pin zero on the micro bit, and then three volt is running to three volt, and ground is running to ground. Uh, so let's see, what else if we, Head to this uh, link right here. I just want to let you know that's where you can go pick it up. You can see right now uh, the overlay says we have them in stock. $1.75 is the price. Uh, product ID is 6362. Go there or go to this uh, QR code and you'll be on this page. And you can throw, not that page, but this page right here. Uh, you can throw some in your cart. So let's see. Let me, let me head over to the Discord and see if we have... Uh, any questions or thoughts over here? Let's see, pour over coffee's got the stuff plants need. I, I swear that's just water. Um, let's see, Tyrone Mix asks, was a message removed? Wonder why, if not intentionally, I don't know, maybe there's a, uh, a word that got uh, 
ripped out by the algorithm. No, nothing that I did intentionally. But let's see. Uh, anything else? No? Okay. Yeah, it does look a little bit like uh, little bunny fangs, little Dracula fangs, but uh, perfect for having that short distance to read the resistance across those. Uh, as, as C. Grover says, tough to resist at this price. If you're doing, I mean, it's a good point. You can buy up to 10 of them at this price. So for, what, $17.50 uh, plus microcontrollers. Now, if you have microcontrollers with multiple analog inputs, then you can gang up a few per, per microcontroller if you have some sort of way of multiplexing the, the analog reads. Uh, you could set up a, a system for reading a whole bunch of plants and uh, warning you when those need, uh, need some love. In the case of, let me go back to this down shooter. In the case of uh, this one right here, we've just got the on plant display. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could hook this up to something like a sound effect. You could hook this up to uh, something like our uh, whippersnapper and Adafruit IO if you wanted to get messages, text messages, and, and uh, so forth when the value goes, goes below and it's dry and it's time to water. So. Uh, we do have some projects you can take a look at in uh, the Learn system for, uh, for setting up different plant monitoring setups. Uh, Blitz City DIY says you could, you could have your plants scream at you. I, they, they would all, I'm terrible with plants. They would all be screaming at me, but, but maybe that's a, a good motivation. Uh, all right. That right there is going to wrap it up. Uh, so I guess we'll... Uh, I'll show a little mini version of that right there. That right there is the product pick of the week. It is the Simple Soil Moisture Sensor for Microbit and more. It's the moisture bit. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's product pick of the week. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.